Hi. When Farage was presenting for GB News, doing live shows from pubs and clubs, filled with his mostly late middle-aged fan base, the toe curling event featured a stint called Barrage the Farage, where he fielded questions from the audience. Now, it seems, other members of the public are starting to take this literally, provoking hysterically predictable responses from the Lib Lab Con politicians and subservient commentators as they press alarm bells condemning intimidation, unacceptable political violence. Nigel himself claims, I will not be bullied by a violent left-wing mob. Unlike Farage, who as an outright rabble-rousing populist isn't afraid to campaign openly, taking his chances, the rest of the political party establishment and leadership are bussed from one destination to another in, her, in a hermetically sealed situation for photo opportunities with placard-holding party members. These cowards are too frightened of contact with the general public, scared of well-deserved abuse and heckling and the odd rotten egg or two. Our political history is in fact replete with political violence in past centuries. Politicians on popular roles faced with being pelted with brick bats, rubbish, even dead cats by the enraged populace of common people who were excluded from the political process and had no voice apart from their anger. Whereas today, the main difference is that we have the choice of casting ballots for a list of identical candidates. It's about time the traditional practice of the uplifting abuse of royals, politicians, the mega-rich CEOs was revived big style. This is a hidden part of our history which is airbrushed away by the miseducation system, that of the working class and common people and peasantry, their rebellions, uprisings against the system, establishment and authority. Why settle for a sanitised, semi disneyfied boring politics with us as mere spectators and voters? Let's give those pimping for our votes the well-deserved reception they so richly deserved. Whatever their worthless political party label and become what we always have been, which is ungovernable. Bye.